Hey, what's up, garden friends? Plants are falling over. Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? Hope you're good. I'm great. It's snowing. Love the snow. It's so fresh and nice smells. It smells good. Uh, off to a great start. Talking's already a challenge. It is currently 17 degrees Fahrenheit. It's supposed to get down to the single digits tonight, and then in a few days it's supposed to get even colder. Might be dipping below zero Fahrenheit, so I have a few things I need to get done out here. Mostly, I need to cover these up. I don't know how vlog-worthy that really is because it's pretty simple. See this? You just... That's it. Just like that. Boom. Done. Repeat three or four times. It's not actually the sable palms I'm all that concerned about. I have to make sure to get these... Uh, ooh, sorry, gate's being noisy. Get the windmill palms moved in. That's going to be too cold for them considering they're potted, so much more exposed. Mule palm definitely needs to go in. I actually have a lot of plants on the patio that I should probably scoot inside with these other plants. The yuccas, these definitely need to go in. These are good to zone seven. I really think it would be pushing things to leave these out here and exposed. Uh, and then the acupas, that's just one of them. There are several more out here. Oh, and the fatsia, that definitely needs to come in. It's been fun seeing how much cold that can take, but I think that dropping to single digits and below zero, that would probably be pushing it, don't you think? I think that's too much. Okay, got the cart, loaded up. Those are all ready to go in. I like to get everything sort of piled and put together so that I can just pop the door open, slide it in, and get that door back down as quickly as possible. Not doing that right now. Still got some other things to do in the backyard. Oh, by the way, this isn't going to be the tone of the entire video. It's just this is the way my week is starting. Important to get all the driveway stuff done first because once it gets really cold out here, like probably in a few hours, this thing freezes shut and I can't get the gate open or closed. So that part's done. Got the cloaks set up. I should probably get those staked down. Shouldn't I? I'll do that. Still have a couple needle palms back here that I'm going to have to find something to cover those up with. I'm not really that worried about these tonight. It's more in a few days. Same thing with this needle palm here. I would think that this would be okay, but a little frost cloth probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Look at... So, this is... I had a bunch of... I got an airtight container to keep the squirrels and chipmunks out of my bird seed. See how well that worked out. Ugh. I still have these little sables here. And with those, I just take a pot and just plop it right over the top. And I can put a piece of tape or something over that hole. It is dark doing it that way, but it's okay. It's only for a few days. They'll be fine. The main thing is just to keep, the, keep them safe from minus five degrees if it actually gets that cold. I don't know if it will. Okay, the magnolia planter. That I should do something with. I just I don't know what. Uh, focus? Hello. Come on. What happened there? I think things are too cold. These will just stay out here, laid on their sides, and get a frost cloth put over them. That should be good enough. The teddy bear magnolia, that's a zone 7. So, just like the akubas, maybe, maybe I'll go ahead and pull that in. I mean, if I have room. Otherwise, I think just putting a cloth over it should be okay. I think that's it. That's everything. Ready for snow. I'm so excited. Toby, you ready for snow? Are you ready to go inside? Aren't you cold? He was begging to come out here. Ready to go inside? I'm cold. Let's go inside. So now I just have to make room for all of that right here. I'll make it fit. There's a will, there's a way. Oh, and the dog, he was only outside for like maybe two minutes. Don't worry. I don't let them stay out very long when it's this cold. Them. It's just the one. Oh, no, it's not. There's two. For <laughs> Buddy's still here. My sister's. I was trying to scoot this. That's not. That's not going anywhere. Well, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't know what's happening anymore. Just need to get this done. That is officially frozen shut. I was just barely on time with this one. And now those are in. Not quite sure how I'm going to get back in. I can probably scoot my way through here. This mule palm has gotten too big to have standing up in here. Uh -huh. Just do it like this. Right between the legs. That works. There we go. Everything's in. Phone's starting to freeze up. This has gotten too big to stand up in here, which it's fine. It's not even in here that much of the winter, so not a big deal. Uh, yeah. All right, that's done. See how cold it gets. Probably gonna have to do some other things out there in a few days. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, look at you, pumpkin. You're so cute. You roll over? Roll over, bite. Or get up and run away. That works, too. 
You open for snow pumpkin? I hope we get some snow. I hope we get some snow pumpkin. Yes, I do. I know. You don't care. But you don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> she can't make up her mind whether or not she wants to be pet or if she wants to run around and freak out and play. Oh, apparently she wants to be pet. There she is. What a sweetheart. You're so cute, pumpkin. Such a good girl. I love you. Okay. All right. You got things to do. I'll leave you alone. Hey, Tobes. Did we get some snow? Buddy, did you get the snow? You want to go outside and play with the snow? I know you love the snow. He just gets up here like that. I'll be sitting over here on my computer doing computer things. And the next thing you know, there's a buddy sitting right next to me. Not a ton of snow, but enough. More than enough. It's actually been like three, maybe even four days since the last clip. It's ended up being so cold that there's just really nothing to do out there other than make sure everything stays protected and leave it all alone. Even out in the growth space, it's too cold to do anything. With three heaters running, I'm barely able to keep it in the mid 50s and low 60s. Those aren't really temps where it should be messing with the plants, right? I do have some things coming in the mail because my pond heater broke. So that's not good because it's been pretty much below 14. I think it's got up to 20 maybe once, but it's been near single digits for the last few days and it's supposed to keep going down going to be about zero to maybe even negative temperatures for a few nights potentially so there's um i still got more work to do out there and you're loving it aren't you buddy you like the cold weather you're an arctic doggy arctic is in he's from wyoming lived in florida didn't like florida he's happy to be up here where he can hang out and get some cool weather and you're gonna be moving to dc pretty soon and it's not as cold there as it is here but pretty close oh i forgot to bring the rosemary in I tried to go ahead and pull. Okay, there we go. It was frozen just a second ago. Need to be very careful once those frozen plants break very easily. Or actually, I think I could just take the rosemary and tuck it in here. I have a few other plants I'm going to tuck in here and then throw a, a frost cloth over these. I think that's how this video started. I don't know. It's been like six days. The entire point here of this video was supposed to be how I was going to protect everything, but I'm still waiting for things to come in the mail. I know it's taken so long and I only have like 20 minutes of daylight left. So change of plans. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I have some bonsais over here too that I'm going to go ahead and throw into that pile. We just don't get this kind of cold very often. Like, the, I can't remember ever. It gets cold it gets plenty cold here just not usually for this long we're at like i think 15 days below 30 less than that below 20 and it's been around 15 or so for the last few days it's not fun i'm not enjoying it that's also why the majority of everything's been on my phone i can't i'm not bringing my camera out here way too cold i don't want to break my camera well here's a rundown hope the snow sounds don't bother anybody i kind of like them what I will be doing, what I have coming in the mail are some C7 Christmas lights. I have lots of Christmas lights, but they're all LED. Those don't put out any heat. So I'm going to gently lift those domes off there. Pardon the dog. I keep calling him. Nothing. Buddy, come here. I know. It's exciting when he gets in trouble, isn't it? Buddy, come here. He's not my dog. He doesn't listen. I, whatever. I, what you didn't know is I just cut to spend like five minutes trying to get that dog to come so I could put him inside. Anyways, these are going to get popped off. I'm going to wrap them gently with the C7 Christmas lights, plug those in. Those will put off some heat. Uh, and then I will probably put frost cloth inside and on the outside with all these sable palms. The needle palms, I'm just going to cover them with plastic pots. I have one right there. And uh, that's pretty much it. The needle palms can take a lot more cold than the sable palms can. I just I really wish UPS would get here. It's getting dark. They haven't been showing up to like eight or nine o'clock the last few weeks. And uh, I'm not looking forward to being out here when it's like three degrees. Right now it's a really warm, toasty seven. Not liking this. Then I have these planters over here, which I'll go ahead and tuck under the frost cloth where that magnolia is just to be safe. I mean, they're probably already kind of screwed, but it wouldn't hurt to give them a shot. And then with the big needle palms, I don't have any big enclosures that will fit over these. They're already not looking great. I'm going to wrap them with a frost blanket and then put lights around that frost blanket and then put another frost cloth on top of those. And that's it. My, I, my fingers are in pain. <laughs> that's enough of that. Hey, I've never shown you guys my attic before. Here it is. I'm filming in... 
60p, so everything's all zoomed in. That's better. I brought it down, but when I go down, the picture gets shaky, so sorry about that. You remember these old pots? These old ones that were like made out of foam? They never sell these anymore. These two you, were stuck together for like three years. I finally got them apart, and uh, they just ended up up here. So there's fun stuff, really entertaining. It's old parts to a Roomba. The Roomba's over here. Don't use that anymore. Learn the hard way. Roombas are not for people with dogs, especially older dogs, because they just, they track poop all over your house. Yeah, look what showed up while I was in the attic, getting the frost cloth down. Got my string lights here, C7 string lights, and then a couple extra of, um, what are they? Pop-up greenhouses. That's what these are. Just for good measure, in case I didn't think the pots were going to be enough, the forecast has been all over the place this week. Like, just, it's been impossible to predict what's going to happen in the next few days. It's supposed to be, I think, three degrees tonight, zero degrees tomorrow night, which is the night the vlog comes out, zero degrees after that, and then I think negative five. I don't know. It, like I said, it's been all over the place, so just trying to keep things prepped and stay ahead of it the best that I can, although I think kind of have surpassed that a little bit, judging by the way things looked outside. Oh, and I grabbed a couple of, a couple more of these Wi-Fi sensors that I've been using outside in my garage to stick one inside underneath the sable palms that I showed just a minute ago, and then one to, I'll probably be showing you. I should get these set up and get on that, like, now, because that's, it's getting dark. <laughs> You're not going to be able to see anything that happens the rest of this vlog. I'm so sorry. Yep, it's pretty dark. I wonder how well that light's gonna work when it's cold. Or if it even works, period, right now. You never know if the electronics are in here. Okay. That's a little bit better. It doesn't matter. I've got these lights. These are 25 foot strands. And I was originally thinking that I would just like lightly wrap the inside all the way down this side and then down this side. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I don't, I don't know why I had to pause here and talk about it. I already kind of figured that's what I was going to be. What just happened there? I'm literally doing just as I said and just taking these lights and trying to get them up here closer to the crown of the plant because that's what needs the most protection. And that's essentially it. Just doing that between each one of these. It's just to release enough heat to keep them from getting like really, really really cold, and I just realized that there was a layer of plastic between my mouth and the camera. Maybe you wouldn't, couldn't even hear that. I don't know. Yeah, turns out vlogging when it's extremely cold outside is not as easy as you would think. <sighs> Part of the problem is that the camera's frozen, so it's not responding to what I tell it to do, and it's very shaky. I put a sensor there in the middle of that sable palm. That's the only point of this update. It's only been like two seconds since the last one. Right, that's going to do it. I need to go find an extension cord so I can get these plugged in. I had mentioned before about doing a frost cloth, so normally what's a good idea to do if it's going to be for an extended period of time would be to wrap the plant in frost cloth, then do lights, then do more frost cloth, just to keep the bulbs from actually touching the plant. Because if the bulbs are touching the plant for a really long time, it can dry them out, even scorch them a little bit sometimes. This is only for a few days, so I'm not really worried about that. Cloudy overnight, low down to 7. Tomorrow's high, 14, with mostly cloudy skies. Then here comes the accumulating snow Sunday afternoon. Okay, well, he just said that it's we've been below freezing for 162 hours, which is only like seven days. I, that's a lie. I don't know where their sensors are, but it feels like it's been longer than that. Hey, Pumpkin. How you doing, sweetie? You've been stalking? You go, little stalker pumpkin. Yes, you are. You got places to go? Wait for an appointment? All right, I'll see you later. I had to come inside and warm up camera. Hello? Hello? Okay, there we go. As I was saying, I had to come in and warm up for a bit. It's like I'm good for like three or four minutes and then got to go back in. Ta-da! Yeah, not much to say there. Got the sensor put inside of this one. I figured this one's the furthest away from the house, so it's probably going to be the coldest. So it seemed like the smart place to put it. And I watched it go down, 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 down for, I don't know, a little while. 10, 20 minutes, something like that. And then it started to stabilize right around 25 to 28, something like that. And like I said, I think it's about 7, maybe 9 degrees Fahrenheit out here right now. So... But I don't know what's going to happen there, but they, honestly, these sable palms, let me see if I can show you. I mean, you can kind of, not really. I don't want to open this 
too wide, but you can see, oh, I already showed you. You saw them before. They're not looking too bad. There's even some condensation on the inside of these, so they're staying fairly warm. The bulk of that condensation was there before I even uh, put the lights in there to help warm things up. So I may not even need to go over these again with a frost blanket. We will see. Like I said, the cold's going to get here tomorrow and then be here for five or six days. Something like that. We're below, I think they said 30 or 40 degrees is what we've been below our averages. This is weird. I don't mind it though. I'm enjoying the snow. I mean, I'm not going to be happy with what this is probably doing to my banana trees and all of the gingers and those things, but that's just, you know, part of the risk you take rolling the dice with the tropical plants when you live someplace where this sort of thing happens. I will show, oh, <laughs> hello from my shadow. Yeah, it's kind of dark. These are those pop-up greenhouses that I showed earlier in the video. I mean, I hadn't even opened them up yet, but they just, that's all there is to it. I popped it over one of my bonsais. It's a little bit too big and heavy to move under the frost blanket. They have a zipper door on them. Is there a reason to explain them when you can't see them? It's a piece of plastic that unfolds and helps hold in mostly the ground heat. If it were to be really sunny, which it's not going to be, but if it were to be really sunny, then I would have to pay attention, because even if it's going to be below freezing, the sun can like, cook things inside of these. That's why it's always good when they have a zipper door or a vent of some kind. And then the last thing, the ice melter thing, did show up in the mail last night, and it's been slowly working its way through here. You know, with frozen ice, you don't want to crack it or shake it, because one, if there's fish inside the ice, then you could crack them and break them. And the shock waves can be really bad for them, so I'm just leaving this be and going to let it slowly melt its way through. It's taking a while, but at least I could see there's some liquid in there, so that's good. Normally I just run the air pumps, that's what these lines go to. These go to little air stones down there. That's normally all we need to keep these things from freezing in the winter, but uh, not this season. So there have been times where I've had to use these before. Just the old one I had, I don't know where it went. It was pretty old. Air pumps are under there and keeping things somewhat less frozen, kind of, not really. That's enough of that. It's too cold out there, pumpkin. I don't like it. It makes me not feel well. Like my hands hurt and my ears. What's that about? Like my ear holes are in pain. My outer ear, just the like the ins like the part that's down inside my skull, doesn't feel very good. I don't like it. I still have this other sensor I need to put underneath those needle palms. I was going to do some other things in this video, like maybe pot some seeds or something like that, but it's just, it's too cold. It might be the title of this vlog. I'm just gonna put. Too cold. That's it. That's all that's going on. Everything's just too cold. No, what I mean is it's too cold out here. Even with the heaters running, I have three of them going right now. <laughs> Best I can do in here, look how thirsty. So thirsty, it's hard to water when temperatures are cool. It's um, like 54, which is okay. The plants will be fine in here. It's just, it's not a good time for seed starting or really doing anything with the plants at all. Just basically have to, you know, just wait. Just gotta be patient, this will be fine in like a week or so. Everything will be much warmer and okay again. I have a heat mat for seed starting, but it's 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 over there. So that's clearly not going to happen right now. In a few days, I can move this outside. That video quality is absolutely terrible. It'll be warmer again, probably by the time next weekend's vlog comes out. I mean, not warm, but warmer back to our normal winter. Then these can all go back out and then I can like actually get to things once again. So that's pretty much going to do it. There's nothing else to get done here. Thing else going on, I should say. I did get some more seeds in the mail. My seeds from Johnny's finally came. Ordered those, I don't know, about a month ago. And then there's a whole bunch of different poppies here. These are just generic packages, so you can't even see what those are. I usually like to get my poppies going like right around now or even in January. I'll take them outside and just scatter them where I want them. That's just what's always worked for me the best when I try and like sow them in containers, whether it's like a seedling pack or you're sowing outside with the jugs. It just for me with the poppies never works out very well. I always have the best luck when I just scatter them. Seeing as how it's like potentially going to be like minus five, they said we're pro potentially going to break a hundred year record here. I think I'll just give those a few days. We'll just wait till things pop back up into the 20s and 30s when it's nice and warm again. And Johnny's, they don't have pictures, so that's what's going on here. There's a whole bunch of artichokes here, some different snapdragons, hyacinth bean, and a bunch of different amaranths. Fun to have more seeds. Gonna get those organized and put away. I had to move the Gloriosum to the 
top of the fridge. The draft that's coming through the windows, it's really, really cold. I think it's warmed up, but a few days ago it was like 40 degrees. Okay, 55. That's not too bad, but I could feel like cold air blowing in from right here. So I took all the plants that were up against that window and pulled them back further. Right here, not as bad. It's not quite as cold, but still chilly. Everything that's over here can handle it, though. It's fine, especially being in glass. That helps a lot. Then the philodendrons that are here, the melanochrysum and the uh, uh, gigantia, variegata. Those have kombucha heaters wrapped around their pots, so it keeps the swell just a little bit warmer. Oh, it was because if anyone was wondering why there's a goriosum there, because it's warmer up there. The windows are very drafty. It's going to get down below zero, probably going to be pretty cold. If everybody's doing well, wow, the video quality out of this camera is terrible. And this is mostly what I've been using for the entire video, so my apologies. I know, very short vlog, because like I said, just haven't been, it's been too cold to really do much of anything. And I've just been chilling, hanging out. Hope you all are doing the same and doing well, and life's just going absolutely beautifully for you. Oh, that actually worked. I wasn't sure how the zoom was going to work because I've been outside with this thing in the cold. Hopefully I'll be able to get some things done out there in the growth space next week. I don't know. If there's not a vlog next weekend, it means that I was just like, eh, forget it. It's cold. Going to get some snow. Probably just going to relax and try to enjoy the beautiful scenery. But bird seed cleaned up off the ground outside too. All right. As always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Toby. Good morning. You such a good boy. Your eyes look very weird and creepy through this lens. It's snowing, Toby. Toby, it's snowing. You want to go outside and play in the snow? You want to go play in the snow? Or you just want your breakfast, right? You want some food? Are you guys hungry? Do you, you, do you love when you sit like that? I'm going to back up a little bit. Look at how he sits on the top of the steps like that. You guys are funny. You want to go outdoors? Want to go outdoors and get some breakfast? Let's go, come on, come on. Probably not going to want to be out there for very long because it is currently one degrees. Just, just not even degrees, just one, it's one degree. Oh, oh, I don't like the way that feels, too cold. Decided that the vlog wasn't long enough. I finished editing that last night and it was only like 20 minutes long and I wanted to be able to give a better update on the little greenhouses out there. I'm not going back out there though. It's way too cold. One do no, absolutely not. They said it was only going to be 10 last night, so they were wrong about that. Anyways, I wasn't able to give an update on how all those covers worked overnight, so I figured, okay, all right, okay, the door's, the door's kind of frozen shut. Come on, Dobie. I know, good morning, good morning. I'm so excited in the morning, he's such a good boy. Gosh, the ground, seriously, it is like, okay, it's not that bad right here. This is like, ah, oh, it's like frozen. House wasn't built for this kind of cold. What are you guys doing? What's going on? You're not supposed to be up there, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie. Fine, whatever, it's okay. Everybody's waiting for breakfast. Yeah, he was out there for such a long time. Hey, buddy. I don't know what it is, he loves the cold and I still like wait for him because I'm like, you're gonna frostbite your little cute little feet. He doesn't rush. Buddy, it's time to eat. Where's your food? Where's your food, buddy? I mean, your bowl. Go get your bowl. What'd you do with your bowl? This one, he runs off with his bowl, takes it with him to bed. There we go. Good boy, buddy. Bring it here. Bring it here. There we go. You're such a good boy. You are breathing very loud, Toby. Anyways, I was going to give an update. I put a graph up here. Those sensors have little graphs on them so you can see how well that worked last night. So it looks like temperatures stayed pretty solidly in the 20s last night, which is fantastic. It's totally fine for those sable palms. They don't care. They're extremely cold hardy. I mean, they'd probably even be okay if I didn't have them covered up right now. But they're new. They're young. It just seemed smart. It's a good idea to keep them protected really well. They're for several years in the ground. Back off of that a little bit more every single year. <laughs> you know, wasn't expecting this kind of winter. We don't typically have these kinds of winters, but it's all right. It's nice to know that you can just pop that little plastic thing over the top of them with a few lights in there and boom, they're fine. So I would think that if we do get down to minus five, which I highly doubt will happen, but even if that does happen, then it should still stay between 10 and 15 or 10 and 20 inside of those little plastic enclosures. Again, that would be fine for the sable palms. I didn't even have those protected. They've had many nights in the 20s and teens unprotected. They were totally fine. All the sable palms I've had in the past can go to zero and below zero. 
usually without too much of a problem. They sometimes they'll defoliate. Not always, just never know. Like I said, just wanted to protect them just because it's their first year in the ground and why not? It's so easy to throw those plastic covers up, which you can't see. It would have been nice to have had a sensor outside of the plastic so we could have seen what kind of difference it actually makes. But I know that it's at least made a difference of about 20 degrees. But those sensors aren't that cheap. So I only had the two and the ones I got don't say that they're made for outdoor use. So I was kind of running a risk even putting the ones out there that I did. Good morning, pumpkin. You so soft, pumpkin. Seems to have worked well. I will probably, if we do dip into the negatives, which I mean, we're only a degree away, but I have enough frost cloth. I'll probably go ahead and toss that over those just because I have it, so why not? It's so pretty. Like I was saying earlier in the vlog, at some point, maybe it was yesterday, that even though it's cold and I don't appreciate the cold very much, as long as it's snowing, I'm more okay with it. I mean, look at that. That's so beautiful. And it's finally big flakes too. We've had a good amount of snow this year. At least it seems that way because it's been sticking. Usually when it snows here, it's only around for a day or two. And then it turns into like really gross slush and it melts really fast. But this has been here pretty much all, really, I think all week. And now we have big flakes. Now the flakes are nice and big. The others, there were days when it was snowing and the apps weren't saying anything about it snowing outside. And the weather person said yesterday that the snow has been so fine that the radar doesn't always pick up on it. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. That's why I keep looking outside and seeing that it's snowing, like barely because it's been like a mist type of snow. But the things on the phone, on the app, say that it's not. That's really neither here nor there. I just woke up, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> just wanted to give that final update with the graphs so could get a look at what goes on underneath those covers. And I thought that was nice. Very reassuring. 20 degrees. Not too bad. Well, I'm going to re-edit the end of this video. Maybe pop this open so I can sit back, watch the snow, and get my weekend going. Anyways, Oh, happy early Valentine. If that's a holiday you celebrate, hope you have a good one. I'm also saying that one of the covers I had over this little staple bomb blew right off. So gonna have to go out there, even though I really don't want to. Really don't want to go out there. It's fun to look at. Don't want to be in it though. I don't, I know I'm going to get comments from people who are up north who are like, that's nothing. That's not even that cold. Sure. I agree, but I'm not used to it. And I don't know how anybody lives like this all winter. That's my mug. You stuck your nose right in my mug. I'm gonna have to wash that again, Toby. Why'd you do that? Because I was holding it down right by your face. That's not your fault, is it? Yeah, so mad respect to anybody who lives with negative temperatures during the winter time. I, I don't understand how you do it. But I'm like a foot or so from the window and it's so cold. Floor, like the floor is frozen when you get within a foot of these doors. This is also a bay window though. So you can tell where that ends, like right here. Not that bad. And then you step right over to where the overhang is. No, way too cold. Oh, you so cute, pumpkin. You got the morning bug. You gonna go fly around and be crazy for a while? Stirred the sand in the fish tank last night. So I hung an extra filter up here to help clear that. What? That's not, that doesn't need, I'm not starting something new right now. All right, hope everybody's staying warm, staying safe. Everything's going well for you and life's just beautiful. And back to last night's outro.